Hello everyone. This is Pragnesh Panchal. I am a senior principal solutions architect at Equinix. And I'm going to do a quick how-to video of how to achieve cloud to cloud routing between OCI that is Oracle Cloud and GCP that is Google Cloud Platform using Equinix's Network Edge. So let's get started. Step number one of four. This is where we will create virtual router on the Network Edge device. And using that in next few steps, that is step number two, we will connect to Google Cloud and step number three, we'll connect to the Oracle Cloud. First login into Equinix Fabric Portal, go to Network Edge and say, create a virtual device. You have an option of secondary highly available device, but as this is a demo, I'm just gonna select a single device. You have various choices, but I'm gonna choose Cisco CSR for this particular demo. I'm gonna select Ashburn as a location for setting up the virtual router. And now you can configure some device details. This should be Equinix configured. I'm gonna use subscription and I'm gonna choose four cores, four GB memory, just to show you the different options. So you create a software package version and you can see different options, license throughput changes as soon as you change uh, shape. All right, so fill in some other details. As you can see, there are various term lengths and with more term length, you can get a little bit more discount. Here's how you can quickly get started. Agree to terms and conditions. And once you accept it, your virtual device is created, right? Now this will go through a life cycle of its own. So as you can see, um, the device status is right now provisioning and it is applying license. In about one or two minutes, this process completes and the device status is provisioned as well as the license is registered. So that completes step number one. Now let's go to step number two. In this step, we will connect to Google Cloud. So you go login into Google Cloud Console, go down in the menu and go to hybrid connectivity and go to interconnect. So in this particular option, obviously get started, you have two options, dedicated or partner interconnect. As this is a fabric, we select partner interconnect. And as this is just a demo, I'm gonna create a single VLAN, but you can create multiple VLANs or a redundant VLAN if you so wish. I'm gonna select the appropriate region. I'm gonna select the cloud router that I have already created and click on create. So this will create a pairing key. It's important to know the last number in the pairing key and I'll come to it where you put in the parent key. So now log in into the Fabric portal and go to Google Cloud Partner Interconnect Zone 1. That parent key has to be the right one and match to the appropriate zone, okay? Now select the virtual device that we just created. We created one in Ashpen, so I'm gonna select my virtual device. My destination is also Ashpen, and I'm gonna click Next. I'm gonna simply select 50 meg. As soon as you select the 50 meg, it shows the different pricing and you can see various pricing across whatever tiers you want to select. As this is demo, I'm just gonna select 50 meg. Now paste your pairing key. As soon as you paste the pairing key, it will validate the pairing key and then you have the ability to submit the order. So the virtual connection is being set up and we are gonna make a call to Google in the backend. As you can see, the call has gone through and the partner VLAN attachment is ready to be activated. So you can click on that particular connection, VLAN detail, and then click on activate button. So I'm gonna activate this. You can accept or reject, but I'm gonna accept. And it will immediately set up a BGP session. This is where you would enter your peer ASN number. So you update that. 
And if you go back to the fabric and click on the device, go to that particular connection and then enter all the BGP related information that Google provides. So there you go. The BGP information is being provisioned to my device. So let's go to step number three. So this is where, again, login into the Oracle Cloud Portal. Click on networking and click Fast Connect. Make sure you are in the right region. Okay, so create a Fast Connect, select Equinix, and then select Next. Now you can name the connection as you want, enter the BGP information, and then as soon as you enter that, you would see an OCID. So you can just copy that OCID. Now paste it in Equinix Fabric, say Create Connection, select Oracle Cloud. Make sure you select uh, the right option of OCI Fast Connect, not the OCI Classic, or if you are using government, then you would have to select government. But uh, for this purpose, it's OCI Commercial. I'll select that. I'm gonna select my virtual device, which I just created in step number one. And the destination, again, will be in Ashburn. Now here I can name my virtual connection, whatever I want, paste a virtual circuit, OCID, and this automatically retrieves the speed tier. So there are no way by which you can make a manual mistake. So there you go. The connection is provisioned. In the back end, we are gonna make calls to the OCI uh, and provision the circuit, okay? Let's set up the BGP information. It is readily available if you log in into OCI console, all of the BGP information is available in the tab. So copy paste it into the virtual device. It will take a few minutes to provision all the BGP information back into the device. So that completes step number three. Now let's jump to the step number four, which is the last step. And we have provisioned all the necessary items. So all that we will do in this step is verify that the BGP is set up, which means the routes are being exchanged and then do a quick test. So let's log in into Google first. We can see the BGP session right there. Click on that particular router. And then you should be able to see the BGP session. Click on the BGP session. And you can see the connection is up. All right. Now let's verify the same from the Equinix Fabric portal. So log in into the device. So click on the device. And there you go. The BGP state is established for the Google connection. Now let's validate the same for the Oracle connection. So login into the Oracle portal, as you can see the VC is provisioned. So it looks good from Oracle side. Let's just verify the same on the Equinix network edge. So here I see the connection right over there. And if I click on it, I see the BGP state is established, which is good. So now the connections are set up properly. The BGP is established, which means routes are being exchanged. So in order to do the test, I have already provisioned two VMs in each of the clouds. On Google Cloud, I have created a VM in 10.30.0.8 address. So I will log in into the Google's machine and then ping a 10.0.0.13 VM that I've created inside Oracle Cloud. Note these are private IPs. So you cannot ping those private IPs across internet. So let's do the login. So login into the Google Cloud, go into VM instances and click on SSH. So this is where Google does its magic. You log in and I'm gonna ping from Google to Oracle. And this is round trip latency. As you can see, on an average, the round trip latency is around 2.5 milliseconds. So that is exactly 
how you connect Google and Oracle Clouds together using Equinix's Network Edge platform. Thank you for watching. Have a great, wonderful day.